What steps do I take if my ash tree is infested with emerald ash borer? Well, if you or tree expert has determined that your ash tree is infested with emerald ash borer, first thing you need to do is judge just how much of the tree's canopy, that is its leaf mass, is affected. Looking at these photos, you can see 30% crown uh, decline. At that point, if the infestation is 30% or less, then you still have the opportunity to do a curative treatment for that tree and prevent further harm to the ash tree. And if you do have branches that die from that early infestation, cut those branches out. The adjacent healthy branches will fill in the spot of those branches that you had to take out. If the infestation is larger than 30% of the crown being affected, so the bug has been there quite a long time, it's best to go ahead and take that tree out before EAB kills it completely. Otherwise, the wood of the trunk and the branches become dry and brittle and then create a hazard and liability situation. Disposing of EAB infested wood should be done according to local ordinance and existing state quarantines. You know, you could burn the tree or you could ship that tree up. But if you do have infested firewood, just keep it for heat, uh, winter heating needs on your property. Please don't take infested firewood with you on a camping trip, which is one way that EAB has been spread throughout our country. When making a determination whether to treat your trees to protect them from emerald ash borer, the very first place to begin is to determine if you have an ash or not. So put down the newspaper, head out to the yard, and these are some tips that you might use to, to, to identify your, your trees.